Hi, hello everyone. Rachel here on March the 10th, 2022 with my reading from the Dragon Oracle card deck by Diana Cooper. And this, if you haven't read the description from the first one, the dragons have been with me since like 2000, 2001. I kid you not, I had one of those Star Wars moments uh, you know, where Luke is standing out there and he's having the whole dun, 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 dun. I'm standing in the middle of the desert, you know, outside my house, whatever, but it's literally the desert. And it was a huge, beautiful dragon. I'm just like, what? Am I imagining things? So the dragons have been in my life for a long time. Okay, and this is stuff you just don't share when you're that young. You're just kind of going, did that really happen? And I mean, there's, of course, stuff you just don't share, but like when you are super young going, everybody's going to think you're crazy. So, no. You know what? You are divine consciousness. It's time to get off our keister and have some fun. Take responsibility for all your actions. And it is... What inside me invited this to be? Okay? And it is all about, am I glad I did? Or are you in the energy of, I wish, I wish, I wish. And that's like when I came back from Tosa, I literally said, I know everything's getting ready to change. I have no idea what it's getting ready to change into, but it's going to change. And I was bawling, bawling. Inside, outside, I was just bawling. I couldn't contain myself. So right now I am leaning on my dragons. I admit this because I am the only presence acting in my world. Okay? And being that I am the only presence acting in my world, I know everybody else gets to be a participant in it because I said it's cool. Just like you say it's cool, who gets to participate in your world? What flies for you? What makes you magnificent and has your perfect day? Because every day is a good day, and then there are just better days. So be enthusiastic. It's, there are going to be things that you're going to want to come up. They're going to want to just run. No, 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 no. No. It's time to stop being triggered. It's time to say, I see that you're in pain too. I. I'm very sorry for that, but we don't have to lick our wounds anymore. We can say enough, but if you don't know your psychology and your brain is still telling you what the ticker tape is, you're going to have a challenge with it. So I highly recommend the navigating inner, the navigating the inner matrix program with Shri and Kara at Shri and because you know what? Everybody's going to have a beginning and I'm going to tell you exactly where mine came from. Shri and Actually, that's not true. Mine came from a book flying off the shelf. I was at a Barnes & Noble in Virginia, because I live in California now, have for the just over a decade. And I was like, well, I'll pick it up, whatever, you know. Because, you know, you know you're gifted, but you're not going to sit there and just say, hey, I'm gifted, let's go ahead and go for this. No, 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 no. I went ahead and picked up the book, put it back on the shelf. And as I did, the book flew off as I was walking away. And... It was 2012, you have a choice, uh, Armageddon or Spiritual Enlightenment or something like that. It's a great book. Great. Do you know I'm even unlocking that book right now? Okay. I'm. Uh, is it that one? I don't know. I'm reading like two different books right now, so forgive me. But um, everything is kind of like jumping off the pages. Life is happening. Life continues to happen. Do you know I used to be indifferent towards my life? I did. I did not know I was a conscious co-creator. I knew I could manifest shit. I knew people, or there were two people around me who could instantly manifest. And I'm like, how in the world do they do that? You know, and you're always observing, but you're, you're not witnessing yourself. Well, now I've become the witness of, of myself and I'm sitting here going, oh, that's amazing. So guess what? We're going to use the Dragon Oracle card deck by Diana Cooper. And we're going to get this show on the road because I would love to know what the dragons have to say for me today. Because this is, when you just wake up, you go, 
this is not the end. This is not the end. This is, you're at the beginning. You're just tying up the loose ends as you go, going, namaste. I forgive you. I love you so much. It is the mercy. And that's what brings you so much joy. Because I've been trying to articulate just how happy I feel, and no one gets it. Just like, okay, that happened. They're like, what? What do you mean that happened? Is there anything I can do about it? No. Small course correction. Boom. If they do it again, we know they're going to screw up. Boom. I know I'm going to screw up. What inside me invited that to be? <laughs> Just be happy. If you're not happy, okay. you got to get to the authentic happy, though. You got to get to the authentic happy. And that authentic happy is going to be what carries you. It's incredible. It really is phenomenal. So with that, you calm down. Slow my roll. <gasps> the aquamarine dragon from Neptune. Now, who's feeling cosmic now? No, I'm just kidding. All right. Enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom. Hand to heart. Deep breath in. So we'll let it out with a smile. So, one more time. So, and it continues. Spirituality and wisdom are available to you. Develop your psychic abilities and receive infallible soul knowledge. So, understand this. Everyone you meet is psychic. They really are. What they're doing is they're reading your emotional body. They're reading your body language. They just don't know that they're reading it. Most of the time, people have no clue that they're tapping into each other. But the beautiful thing is, everyone's waking up to something. See, dragon, Neptune, yay! And you know what? I almost did where my, my um, there's a set of mookies that i have i almost wore that today but i was like no i really don't feel like getting them greasy that would just be awful in my opinion so in developing your psychic ability remember that you you're from here rachel in this since this is my reading you got to go from beyond the third eye and lift up now in order to do that you have to do it through breath and i highly recommend the ave saw You know where I'm going to tell you to go. Because, you know what? I don't want to get hit with copyright issues from anyone. So, that's why I'm doing disclaimers. Go to shereencare.com. Because you are empowered. If you don't get your butt over there and go, is this for me? And you just happen to be listening to me. Without really taking in, am I truly an empowered being? then I'm just sitting here being another mouthpiece. And we're not going to be a mouthpiece. No. Nope. I'm not going to do it. So, in the energy of developing myself, it has been a lot of stepping out. I'm going to read a post video right now. Number six. Skip number five, because number five is queued up, but I'm not going to play that sucker yet. Working on it, but I ain't playing it yet. Made that one yesterday. It was great. Had a moment. And I'm finding that the more authentic I am, this is just incredible. It really is. So be your soul wisdom as I'm embracing my soul wisdom. We are all divinely connected. No one can take that from you. All right. Sure, everybody's going to want to play the fear card, all right? Fear of this, fear of that, electricity, fuel, food. Do you know how abundant you are? Feel how powerful you are without having to take from another to feel secure. To, to know how secure you are without telling another, aha, Caught you. 
You are amazing. Be happy. Know how blessed you are. If you don't, then find something that inspires you to be amazing and pop out of that box and come on and join us. Because you know what? Everyone's conscious to something. Mwah. That's from my friend. I learned how to do that from her. Namaste.